Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of algebraic equations where we are going to solve today one cubic polynomial equation. Equation is x cube minus 7x square plus 36 equal to 0 and one more thing is given. One root is double of another. I am going to showcase three distinct methods, three different approaches. So let's get started with the very first method that is method of, let me write here, Vita's method. So, if one cubic equation ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equal to 0 is known and three roots, alpha, beta, gamma is known. So, we can write the sum of roots minus b over a product of roots minus d over a sum of roots two at a time alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha it would be c over a this is what we know from vita's method so i am going to apply the same so let me consider three roots of this equation is let me write here a 2a and I am taking the third one B. Okay. One root is double of another. So I have taken A, 2A and B. Okay. Now sum of roots. So I will write A plus 2A plus B minus B over A. So I will get 7 only. Minus of minus 7 over 1. So 7. So first equation I will frame 3A plus B equal to 7. This is our equation number 1 we can say. Now I will write product of roots. So let us take the product a times 2a let me write in the bracket times b that would be equal to minus 36 because formula is minus d over a d is 36 a is 1. So I will write 2a square b equal to minus 36 or a square b is equal to negative 18. This is equation number 2. Let me put this one also in box. So now we have two equations. Now I will write the third one also. This one. Sum 2 at a time. So let me write. I will write a into 2a. So 2a square. 2a into b. So 2ab. b into a. So ab. That formula is C over A. C is not there. So what I will write? 0. C term is not there. So it will be 0. Okay. So this is equal to 2A square plus 3AB equal to 0. So I will take A common out. So 2A plus 3B equal to 0. See it is A is one root. So A cannot be 0. So which term will be 0? 2a plus 3b equal to 0. Now see, this is our equation number 1, the very first equation. See, this one is equation number 1. And let's consider this is equation number 3. So what I will do? I will multiply 1 with 3. So let's multiply. Multiply 1 with 3 and then subtract equation number 3. Okay. Let's do that. So 9a plus 3b equal to 21. And equation number 3 is 2a plus 3b equal to 0. Once I will subtract, I will get 7a is equal to 21. So a will be 3. Once a will be 3, b will be means 2a. Here I will write 3 then 2a so it will be 6 now let's find out b let me put the value of a here so i will write 3 square times b equal to negative 18 so b will come out minus 2 okay so this value is third root is minus 2 now let's take the second method i will consider in second method i will give substitution I will write x is equal to 1 over y. 
let's put over here so it will become 1 over y cube minus 7 over y square plus 36 equal to 0 as you can see x cannot be equal to 0 so y cannot be also equal to 0 so i will multiply this equation with y cube so equation will come out 1 minus 7 y plus 36 y cube equal to 0 if i will write in this descending order power 36 y cube then i will write 0 y square since this is very very important minus 7 y plus 1 equal to 0 noticeable point is the coefficient of y square is 0 as it is not there missing so what i am going to use the sum of roots is equal to 0 so if one root of this equation is a second is 2a then third one should be minus 3 because sum of roots equal to 0 so my consideration would be a 2a and minus 3 okay now i will apply the product of rules roots formula so product of roots you can see it is minus 1 over 36 so let me write a times 2a times minus 3a equal to minus d over a so minus 1 over 36 so 6 minus 6 a cube equal to minus 1 by 36 a cube will be 1 over 6 into 36 which is i can write 1 over 6 whole cube so a will come out 1 over 6 once a is 1 over 6 i can find out immediately all the three roots important is see let me write here first the three roots will be let me write here 1 by 6 1 by 3 and minus 1 by 2 okay now what was our consideration initially this was our substitution so our answers root would be 6 3 and minus 2 take the reciprocal of the same roots see it is reciprocal so answer is 6 3 and minus 2 let's come to the third method third method is conventional method which we used to apply find out rational root theorem so we will find out the constant coefficient factors eligible factors plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and so on okay leading coefficient is plus minus 1 only so let's find out the base solution so i will put x equal to suppose i am putting the first one 1 you can see easily 1 minus 7 plus 36 it won't be minus if you will put it won't be x equal to 2 let us check 8 minus 28 plus 36 it won't be okay let me put x is equal to minus 2 so minus 8 minus 28 plus 36 yes it is coming out 0 28 plus 8 36 with negative sign so 0 so base solution is clear now i will apply quickly synthetic division method our favorite method quickly and fastly you can find out let me write all the coefficients first 1 minus 7 0 36 then i will write like this leading coefficient as it is 1 times negative 2 negative 2 negative 9 18 18 minus 36 0 so this is the coefficient of quadratic equation minus 9x plus 18 equal to 0 now i will split if you want to apply quadratic formula you can apply i will split i will write x square minus 6x minus 3x plus 18 equal to 0 this is x square okay let me take x common x minus 6 minus 3 common x minus 6 equal to 0 x minus 6 we will take overall common what is left x minus 3 equal to 0 so x is coming out 3 and 6 how quickly you can find out the three solutions using synthetic division i guess it is the quickest one 2 negative 2 3 and 6 i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video please take care of yourself